If working in a laboratory appeals to you, think about becoming a medical laboratory technologist. It's an occupation with a number of duties. Examining body fluids and tissues, preparing tissue for microscopic examination, and conducting medical research. We began by talking to one medical laboratory technologist. Here's what we learned. My name is Diane Gursky, and I'm a medical laboratory technologist, and I work in the lab at the Royal Alexander Hospital. A medical laboratory technologist is someone who analyzes patient samples, various forms, all in order to help the di doctors give a diagnosis to the patient. I decided I wanted to be a lab tech when I was in grade 11. Um, somebody close to me was diagnosed with cancer and I kind of thought about, you know, the cure for cancer and then I started to research how you would get into that field. A uh, medical laboratory technologist is the front line handling the patient's samples such as blood, urine, stool. We analyze the sample, review those results. And the results go back to the physician and they're ultimately who decides. It's up to them to de determine what's abnormal because we don't know all the patient history. The typical day in, in the lab would be, in this lab we run 24 by 7, so we cover all the shifts. They're mostly 8 hour shifts, 7 to 3, 3 to 11, 11 till 7 in the morning. So we want to talk with the people that are leaving their shift to find out if there's any carryover, is there any patient results that I need to finish off, is there any instruments that are broken that need to be fixed, or is a service call coming in. So once we get that established, then at the beginning of the shift is usually when there is some maintenance to do. So we'll start that, and then we'll start to process the samples. And that's pretty much what we do all day is keep processing and resulting them, getting the patient results to the wards, if any maintenance or troubleshooting comes up during the day, we handle that too. The specimens come into the lab in a variety of ways. Uh, they come by porter, patients come themselves to have their blood drawn. Uh, they come through a pneumatic tube system. We also have lab assistants that go out onto the wards and collect the samples and bring them back to the lab. In the centrifuge in the lab, we use it for separating serum and cells. We put the samples into the centrifuge, turn it on, it spins at a really high speed, and the heavier particles go to the bottom of the tube. Then when we take the samples out of the centrifuge, we can see the definition between the serum and the cells. We use some cassettes in the lab for some of our instruments. It holds the blood samples, they, we put them into the cassette and then put them on the instrument. The instrument takes the sample, puts it on a rocker bed, pulls it along. When it gets to a certain spot in the instrument, it stops and holds the sample so that a needle can come up and pierce it, and then it sucks up some of the sample and it goes into the various areas in the instrument for different counts and analysis. The osmometer is a manual technique that we use in the lab. We draw some sample into a pipette and put it into the instrument and it measures it by freezing point depression. It freezes the sample and gives us a result on the particles based in the sample. Well, as a medical laboratory technologist, there are a variety of departments that you can work in, chemistry, coagulation, hematology. And other than being a lab tech in a lab, there's also research you could go into, be a lab scientist, quality improvement. There's also sales or being a technical specialist for one of the companies that sells lab equipment and also uh, teaching. In my free time, I, I have three kids, so I spend a lot of time with them. So I'm quite involved in those activities, driving them here, there and everywhere. And, this kind of personality to be a lab tech is someone who is very conscientious and reliable, someone who is organized, fairly strong in sciences and math. I've found it to be very rewarding. I like to be able to help the patients. I feel that lab techs are important in helping to diagnose the patient's diseases and disease states. I'm very happy that I chose this occupation. To become a medical laboratory technologist, you will typically require 
two to four years of post-secondary study. If working as a medical laboratory technologist interests you, there's more information available, including salary ranges and educational requirements in the occupational profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of biological technician, combined laboratory and x-ray technologist, or medical laboratory assistant. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.